Northampton was planning to take in 51 refugees, and they were expected to arrive shortly. But since then, President Trump has signed an executive order that suspends the entire U.S. refugees admission program for 120 days. It also indefinitely blocks refugees from Syria, one of the countries we are expecting refugees from. What does this mean for those 51 refugees who were coming to Northampton? Catholic Charities, a nationwide organization with an office in Springfield, was making plans to organize the arrival of these refugees. I talked to Susanna Crolius, an employee of the Springfield office, and Bill Dwight, city councilor, about what the original plan for the city was. The State Department had contacted us with um, our first couple of families to tell us who they were. Um, we were preparing to receive them shortly. Uh, and now, as of, the, as of Friday, with this executive order, uh, we, are, we, we won't see these families uh, at least for 120 days. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen between now and, now and then. We, we, everybody is still guessing. Everybody's still trying to figure out what this means said we will talk to the community let's have community forums to discuss it with them see if they how how likely they are to actually they they share in this sentiment but let's see how deep that sentiment goes and we had a number of forums for uh, uh and it turned out the response was enormous there's there's 700 at last i heard up to 700 volunteers signing up they have more volunteers than they have things to assign them at this point but clearly, there was a very strong community response. But what does President Trump's order mean for these plans? Specifically for Northampton, what it means is that, at least as we understand it right now, uh, we will not receive first families or, or people here in Northampton for at least 120 days. Um, that situation may may change, but our understanding right now is that there will be no refugees from any country coming in for at least the next 120 days. In terms of uh, seven countries, specific countries, uh, they will not be coming uh, indefinitely to the, US, to the U.S. to be resettled. After learning about the effect of the executive order, I wanted to learn what life can be like for refugees in Western Mass. I sat down with Adam, a Sudanese refugee going to HCC for criminal justice. A year and nine months ago, I started with um, learning English as a second language. So I start from level one to level five. And then um, I just finished last semester my level five. And I also started to take some of my major classes. So, uh, and I think time flies really quickly and, and it's really fascinating that how I learned English and basically from understanding nothing and not knowing how to express my feelings or how to even communicate with others and now you know basically talking to you and talking <laughs> to all of you right now is you know is very scary and frightening and also exciting at the same time too. Families break apart just put yourself on those refugees' places and see for yourself and you will understand what, is, what humanity is all about. These people really need love and support and it's really important for us to do something, you know. So that's my message. 